Hello friends, we do have a 99 cent store haul and I am gonna be tagging on some extra hauls like I always do, so we're just gonna jump right into it. I actually found some stuff for 99 cents, which is a miracle nowadays. So, what did Crystal find? All right, I was able to get Trader Joe's Fresh Cranberries grown in Wisconsin, 12 ounces. Um, these are the last two packages which I hauled and I have them in this um bowl which is actually from the 99 cent store and it's cute because it's pumpkins and the reason why i'm having this bowl is in case any cranberry juice leaks i don't want it leaking all over my new fridge so i am going to be making fresh made cranberry sauce and two bags will be fine for what i need um my husband is off for a week and because of the holiday so i picked up tortilla land and this is 18 ounces and Let's see. It says use by December 14th, 2020. It's a 18 count. Tortilla Land is quite pricey. There's no way you're going to find it for 99 cents. So this has a decent expiration date and a great deal for 99 cents. Um, I don't know if I can find the expiration date on my cranberries. Let's see. What does this say right here? Um, you know what? I'm not worried. It looks like it's December, so yeah, it's going to be used. I mean, I'm going to make this Wednesday and let it gel overnight, so I'll have that for the weekend. I absolutely love cranberry sauce. All right, I did pick up two of these, but we already opened up one, so I'm just going to show you the one that's not open, and this is the Pace uh, Chunky Green Chili Chunky Texas Salsa in mild. It's not really hot. It just gives flavor. It's very, very flavorful. It's 15 ounces and this is a pretty good deal. Um, I think the expiration date is a decent one. Let me see. We're actually already like halfway through the first one and I just hauled this, I think on yesterday. Yeah. So we definitely like our salsa over here. Um, huh. All right, here we go. Uh, January 23rd, 2021. So that's a really good expiration date. I think I might pick up a couple more because, like I said, this is really good just to give uh, your food a little pop of flavor. And I also, I, I went to a 99 cent store that I usually don't go to and they really had some good deals. And again, these are all 99 cents. So let me show you what I purchased. Now, they were fully stocked, and I could have cleared the shelf, but I just was like, why? I don't need to clear the shelf <laughs> for this stuff. But I can't believe Naked Strawberry Banana, even at Grocery Outlet and Aldi, is still $4.99. 99 cents used before December 8th, 2020, but this freezes well. So this can go inside my freezer, and I it was just like, I can't believe that they're still selling it for 99 cents, but... Watch, I'm going to say this, and then next time this is out, it's going to be $1.99, which I hope they don't do because this is really a great deal. I like strawberry banana, blend of four juices, partially from concentrate with other natural flavors. So definitely an amazing deal, and sometimes you can get even the bigger ones for $0.99. Cents. Well, you used to be able to. The Gold Peak, I was... You know, I wanted to see how much it rang up for. It rang up for 99 cents. And this is pure leaf, real brewed tea with raspberry, no artificial sweetness, 59 fluid ounces. And I picked that up for my husband so he can drink that. And then I just picked that up so that if I felt like having some smoothie, I can. And like I said, I will be putting it in the freezer. And I want to make some ambrosia salad. So I just picked up one of the Cool Whip. And this is the Cool Whip Light. Expiration date is a good expiration date. This is going to go in the freezer. Um, April 2021. And this is 8 ounces. So I'm just going to be making a small ambrosia salad. Because I am not cooking this year. We have dinner reservations. Another awesome find is these... These are really expensive, even at Aldi and Grocery Outlet. The love spelled backwards, and this is just the um, personalized pizzas, low carb lifestyle made with chicken raised, made with chicken raised without antibiotics, and it is an uncured pepperoni pizza, mozzarella cheese with spicy uncured pepperoni sprinkled over a tomato marinara sauce with a crust made of chicken and Parmesan cheese. So this is something easy for my husband just to warm up. And I did grab two of those. 
Then um, they do not have our favorite beans, so I thought we would try these. I think we've tried these beans before. They're pretty decent. They're not as good as the other beans, the Isadora, but um, my husband does like to make, you know, like nachos and other stuff, so I decided to get these 15.2 ounces, and I think this expiration date was like, let's see, it is best before 10.22, so yeah, we don't need to worry about that expiration date either. Then also they had rice pudding by Goya. I wish they would have had it with the um, raisins, the way my grandma and my mom made it. But I will take this, arroz con leche. I like it. No gluten, Marianne. Made with simple ingredients. Um, anyways, it's cinnamon, four uh, snack cups. And these are 120 calories a piece. I love this pudding. Um Anyways, November 27th, 2020 is the expiration date. That's kind of soon, but, you know, I'm not going to stress it. And I also picked up some flan by Cozy Shack. And this is 150 calories each, four four-ounce cups. It's, cr it's caramel flan. So, again, gluten-free. Expiration date is going to be, what is our expiration date? Best by December 7th, 2020. So, I also, there's something else that I picked up at the 99, a couple more items. So, hold on. My husband really likes these uh, baked raisin cinnamon flats. So, these are by Quaker. And just really, I've, I've hauled these so much. If you've been with me, you know that I haul this all the time. I saw it again, decided to get grab him a couple. Just one box, actually. Uh, January 28th, 2021 is the expiration date. They're now $1.49. I also decided that I did not want to spend a lot of money um, on a out, outdoor rug because I always end up spending a lot of money and it just doesn't make any sense. The, the, this is cute from the 99 cent store. It was only $4.99 and I was like, you know what, this will be fine for outside. I'm not going to stress out about it. They also had the Christmas trees and if this one gets ruined, I honestly have a brand new one that it says hello fall if i have to put that one out there that's fine you know that's my business if someone has a problem with it oh well but this is really cute for 4.99 it is a, it is smaller it's only what is this 16 by 24 but this will be fine i'm not like i said i'm not worried about it and then i also picked up two more items from the 99 we are actually going to be buying our tree and we are going to be flocking it and i want it super white so i have two brand new cans and then I have two cans um in my laundry room just in case uh because I really want it to be like uber white an uber white tree so hopefully four cans will do the trick um they actually had these still in stock at this particular 99 cent store that I went to because I'm starting to go out of my comfort zone because it seems like everyone knows where I shop and um there's some other stores that I've been finding and they carry some really cool stuff. So I'm quite happy with my new, <laughs> with my new haunts. And, um, you know, I just want to let you all know, if you see me at the 99 cent store, don't hesitate to say hello. You know, of course I want to meet you. I love meeting people from the channel, you know, that, um, friends from the channel. Um, it's just that I, I need to expand my horizons to put it politely. So anyways, um, the other stores, you know, that I normally hit, they did not have these. So I was glad I ran into these and glad I was able to choose which one I wanted. I almost purchased two, but I was like, no, just get one. You'll be fine. And then I just grabbed Ollie a box of treats. These are made in Canada. So um, I do make sure they're either made in the USA or made in Canada, and these are medium, crunchy texture, and he just likes to have some treats. I mean, you know, <laughs> he's a furry little guy, and he, of course, he likes to have treats. Fortified with vitamins and minerals, and we also give him, like, his fancy dental sticks and his fancy hip stuff, so this is just kind of for fun. It's chicken, lamb, vegetables, cheese, and bacon, and um, I think that does oh wait no 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 hold on i also hauled my favorite earrings around this time i picked up i already have a set of brand new red ones that i didn't use last year so i picked up green 
and then these are new and they have blue so i thought how fun 99 cents a piece and i'm serious i get compliments on these every single year i don't know how many compliments i'm gonna get this year because of the masks but they are really fun to wear and they do light up and then I was also able to find the Woody Lip Snackers, and this is Woody's Fruity Roundup. So I guess it's a Fruity Punch. And then I also found Marvel, the Hulk, and what, I wonder what flavor he is. Lip Balm, oh, Banana. No, wait, that's not Banana. I don't know what he is. I don't know. Probably something green. Best flavor forever. All right, doesn't answer anything. Um, hold on. Here we go. Sour Apple Smash. So I was at Target today, and I'm telling you, all of this stuff is like $4.49. I kid you not. They had this exact same one, and I think it was either Elsa or... I'm pretty sure it was Elsa. Exact same thing. And it was $4.49. Same thing for these guys. All the lip smackers that, th that we end up getting at the 99 come from either Target or CVS. And they're all about $4.49. Just like when I showed you the Dollar Tree Coca-Cola ones, the three-pack that were $3.57. It's like so crazy. It's ridiculous how much they are. Um, all right. I do think that is the end of the 99 cent store haul. And I am going to tag this on with the um, new car. So I'm going to put put these two hauls together and yeah um so this will be posting together as one so the new car thing will be a bonus at the end and i hope you all enjoyed this 99 cent store haul um again we're not throwing down big hauls because um i'm just not going to be spending money on stuff that we don't need we don't eat and it's just it's a waste of money um now when they do have good deals like they did today which i was totally stunned um, yes, I am going to haul because it makes sense. And also, you know, we needed some more iced tea and, um, the naked juice is always a really good deal. So, um, yeah, I mean, all of that stuff would have cost, I think I paid with, I think I paid, yeah, I paid $20. Now, if I'd gone to grocery outlet or to Stater Brothers, you know, those love things I think are like either $2.99 or $3.99 depending on what store you go to. So that already would have been um, $8 just for the pizzas. Um, again, the Pace Picante, the Trader Joe. I don't know how much they sell the cranberries at Trader Joe's, but that was a good deal. I was really surprised to see them at the 99 cent store at the right time. Because <laughs> usually like all the holiday stuff comes, you know months later like i think we're still getting stuff from easter those cupcakes uh, if you know what i'm if you go to the 99 cent store a lot you know what i'm talking about like those pastel cupcakes those are from easter so anyways um when there's good deals i'll haul um but we're definitely as you all know we quit doing the saturday huge hauls because it just didn't make sense so anyways I am going to stop talking and I'm going to get this loaded up because I also have some other hauls that I need to show you. As always, have a great day or a great evening and I will see you all later. Thank you so very much. Hello everyone. So, um, I did get another new car. <laughs> if you've been with me for a while, uh, since July 2019, this will be my third vehicle. But this is the one. This is the one that I've been wanting. And what is it? It is a 4Runner Limited uh, two-wheel drive. It has everything on it that you could possibly want. And it is a 2021. So I did not get a 2020 because, believe it or not, they're sold out. And I'm going to answer a question straight off the bat so that no one says anything in the comment section um we actually own our condo it's a mortgage we're not renting so save those comments for somewhere else um all right so what does the forerunner limited have um honestly i wouldn't it's not that it's not big of a difference be, between a forerunner limited and a regular forerunner the only reason why i got a forerunner limited is because this is the only two-wheel drive one that they had um and i did not want four-wheel drive i wanted um two-wheel drive so honestly that's all i can really tell you um and the the seats um also i think are the difference and 
also what else did they say i don't know they said a whole bunch of stuff i didn't listen to everything but it has like the fin it has the luggage rack which is really cool and it's high up the clearance is like remarkable i have like a really high clearance for an suv it's one of the highest actually is the highest out of all the suvs and it seats three and then back here is another seat if you want to use it as a seat and of course you have the cu the cup holders um this is made for like this is really like a rugged car <laughs> Kind of, it's kind of a masculine car, really, to be honest with you. It is made for off-roading, and um, I used to have another 4Runner that was a lot older, and it was a Limited, and I kept that one for a really long time because I really, really liked it. Um, one of the things I love about the 4Runners is that this whole back window goes down, and when you're at the beach or during the summer, it is just so fun to drive. I mean, these things are fun. You can go over curbs. You can go. You can do so much stuff, and that cargo space is intense look at all that i mean there is so much i can do with this what's really cool too is back here you have an outlet a three prong or two prong outlet and you can plug in like let's say if i go camping hypothetically um i want to curl my hair i want to blow dry my hair there you go i mean there's all kinds of stuff back here and in the third row and in the second row you have of course stations where you can charge your phones and all that fun stuff I actually need to get a Toyota cargo mat. This this cargo mat is from my other car, so that's why it doesn't fit. It's really short. And then I did get the Toyota cargo um, net to keep things together because right now it's empty, but I carry a huge igloo cooler with me at all times in case I'm hauling food. I don't have to come right back home, which is another reason why I needed a large cargo space. Now, granted, you're probably thinking, Crystal, you don't have any children, and it's just you. I know. Trust me. I know all that. But I still wanted this car. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just something, I don't know, just wanted it. All right. What's cool, too, is there is a system on here, and if anyone tries to steal this car, uh, it can be located by GPS, and the engine will be cut, so we can just kill the engine, and that will be the end of that person's joyride. So, that is nice. And I like the keyless entry, of course, because that makes it, oops, all right, that makes it easy and um yeah i mean it has heated seats it has all the bells and whistles and it's a lot of fun and i can't wait to drive it um i will say one thing that the stereo system in it is intense it's it's really really nice so um yeah I mean, you have all kinds of fun stuff so i'm definitely gonna have some fun in this car it has 17 miles on it right now and um, it's a 23 gallon tank, so that's gonna hurt when I go fill up, but you know, it is what it is All right, so I wanted to get on and show you all this is what we we spent Saturday night in Huntington Beach doing is getting this car and honestly again, this was kind of unexpected I just wanted to go and test drive a new 4Runner. I didn't think that we'd be walking out with a 2021 limited 4Runner, but that's what happened and that's this is going to be my car there's no more there's not gonna be any more new cars like i said this is my third car in a year and something a year and a half so we are done with all the whole this is going to be this is going to last crystal for a while all right there's some other hauls i want to show you and we will get into those hauls um right after this